Hi guys, this is Emma and today I'm going to be taking a look at Pretty Little Liars episode 20, season 7. It is the last ever episode of Pretty Little Liars. It's called Farewell My Lovely. You remember how we got out of there? <laughs> you know, Pam didn't drink for a year after that. Look at that, though. And you make me a better woman because you searched for one. Oh, she looks so happy. It's not a reflection, is it? Oh no. Oh no. I still don't know why. You're such cry. a cockney gal. I'm dying to meet you. <laughs> but he is always close by. But then there's ashes into an eternity's time. Oh. It's diamonds last forever. I feel sick now. I feel sick. Hey. How are you planning on wearing a hand for the wedding? Oh. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. There's gotta be a way out of here. That's so weird. It's not too good to be filmed. He's crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can't tell which is which now. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, this feels like it's the end of something. Are we in Mona's mind again? She's Mona. She's Mona. I just finished the episode and it was not what I expected. I thought that we were going to get a Spencer twin. I wondered if we were going to get more than that. I was surprised that they didn't really tie in a lot of things from previous seasons. There were some good moments and some bad moments. Let me start with the good. I like that stuff with 80s underground bunker, the merging of kind of reality with fiction, fantasy. It was kind of like us diving into the film set, sort of having that fictional world suddenly come to life and make us realize that what we're seeing is actually just a story. Because of those moments, I think when the girls came to say goodbye to one another, that I actually felt I was looking at the cast rather than the characters. I like the stuff with Mona. I feel like I maybe missed something there with her whole storyline ending like that. It seemed almost too artificial, like she was still in a snow globe or still thinking about this. Maybe this was all in Mona's mind. I think it maybe left us with, with that notion of reality and fantasy are blurred and it's up to you to decide what is going on here because the logistics of, of Mona being able to carry that off of getting Spencer's twin and Mary Drake to France and her finding the perfect French guy <laughs> whilst she was in Radley for the past year. Uh, I just don't know. <laughs> it just seemed kind of weird. I liked seeing Spencer's twin first revealed. I love the mirror image scene. I think it maybe was executed a little bit too quickly. I like the fact that Julian Morris was in the episode. Thank you very much, Marlene, for bringing him back. But at the same time, I kind of felt like it was a big F you to all the fans when he was turned into a necklace. It was kind of like, um, this is our answer to everybody who wanted Ren to be the big baddie. Um, this is our story and this is what we're going to do to Ren just to confirm that we have the power here. I like that. Some of the things were, were left a little bit, like the Addison storyline. I'm not sure we really needed the Addison storyline, but that ending kind of tied back into that scene when Ali and Emily were at the school and Ali said, surely we know someone who can take care of her. And it was kind of like left with the idea that Ali might still be bad, I guess. I don't really believe that, but I, I do think it, it kind of tied in with that. And yes, it came full circle. I would have think I would have liked it to have ended on the Mona scene, just because I think Mona had so much power in the entire series and that she was such an interesting and complex character. Okay, what I didn't like was a few things. I didn't like the Arya storyline about her not having kids. I mean, what was the point in that at this stage? Was it just to show us that, you know, these girls have grown up now, they are adults and this is the kind of situation they have to deal with. 
Was it to show us that she was going to be looked after by um, Ezra for the rest of her life? Was it to show us that these girls, you know, would always persevere no matter what their problems in life and that they would always find a way to overcome them? I also didn't like Troyan's accent. I'm sorry to say as a Brit it sounded a little bit Mary Poppins. I kind of liked how crazy Alex was. She was so <laughs> off the map and I liked the way that Troyan played it but her accent was just a little bit grating and it was distracting. I think it also pushed the story into the same territory we were when Archer Dunhill was unmasked. It kind of lost a little bit of the darkness and went into comedic territory. I don't know if this reveal, if this storyline was as dramatic as some of the storylines we've had in singular episodes in the past, in early seasons. I'm really not sure about that. Um, I expected it to be darker, I expected there to be lots of twists and turns, but actually the story was told quite simply. Um, Cece just randomly met Archer Dunhill, that was kind of weird. Ren kind of randomly met Alex, that was kind of weird as well. Is this lazy writing or are we to just assume that this is how Pretty Little Liars worked all along? It was just a very simple story full of coincidences and we just have to go with it. I love the beginning, I love that Mona was having this fantasy in that snow globe and that <laughs> Lucas and Jenna made an appearance. I felt maybe that the storyline was finished a little bit too quickly even though we got such a long episode. It did feel like the, um, the, the reveal was re resolved very quickly and all it took was the horse and Jenna <laughs> and then Toby being able to spot his true love. I, I feel a bit strange about this episode. It was, it kind of felt odd. <laughs> it's kind of like, I feel like I just got out of the dollhouse. Like that was a fake reality and now I'm in reality. <laughs> like it was a merging of two worlds more than, more than I've ever seen them before. Like a merging of a teen drama and a merging of a, a very odd mystery show. Did I like the AD reveal? Yes. I, I wanted a Spencer twin from about season four and so I was pleased that we got a twin reveal but after the Mary Drake storyline I kind of thought that they might have dropped that and that might have been just a twin reveal. So for a second set of twins to be revealed here was almost anticlimactic but because it was Troyan and because it was one of the girls um, it it was more interesting and I would have liked to have seen more Alex just to see the dynamic she had with the girls. Um, to be perfectly honest, I think that this episode kind of revealed what Pretty Little Liars had become, almost like turning in, an, in on itself, turning in on its own mystery. Um, there was nowhere else for it to go. It was great to see all the relationships come to fruition. Um, Ezri are finally getting married. After all their drama in the past seven seasons, they finally walked down the aisle together. Um, did you see Ezra's mother's face during that ceremony? Jeez, she, she looked like she was sucking on a lemon. Um, so funny. I liked Ali and Emily getting engaged. That was very nice. Although I kind of felt bad at that moment as well because I wish I had seen more of their relationship, more of their budgeting romance, I guess. And not just when they were teens, but, but as adults as well. Thought it was unexpected that the Haleb relationship had gone a bit sour um, and that they, they were kind of acting like a little bit older than they were. Like So overall, I liked the episode. The reveal didn't really shock me because I was expecting a Spencer twin. I thought that we might be going there after all the, the clues in previous episodes. Like that it, you know, felt like the ending. Just like Ali said, it felt like the end of something and it also felt really strange for it to be the ending. Like this world was finally darkening. I'm so thankful to all the writers, the producers, the creators of the show, to the actors and actresses involved and to the fan community for for being so great over the past seven seasons of this show and it was so much fun to watch it. It really was. But I feel like it was the right place to end it and I feel like 
<laughs> this story couldn't have gone any further than this. So <laughs> I'm feeling kind of drained right now actually. I, I It's like saying goodbye to a, a dear friend sort of thing. It's like a part of life has been put away in the past and you have to move on now. So I'm feeling kind of <laughs> depressed a little bit I guess. But it's been a great and crazy ride. So that's it really. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the finale. If you have any thoughts about it, you can leave them in the comments if you wish. Um, and that's it. Bye.